uh, their stock to be able to start to slowly but surely not just keep them alive, but start to make money again. And that means we've got to get feed and fodder to those people as fast as possible. One of the ways we can do it is through our next guest. Uh, Armin uh, Arakelian joins us now, and he's a bloke who is all in on trying to work out how... He's dressed in the part too. God love you, pal. Uh, he's, he's there uh, with uh, Back to Bush, and he is trying to get a uh, fistful of dollars together. Let's try and raise them for him tonight. What do you want to do, mate? Yeah, good day, Paul. Good day, gentlemen. Thank you very much for having me on this show to talk about this very important initiative. Uh, as we know, after uh, the striking images of natural disasters are over on the media, um, funding drives up. Uh, people people lose interest um, and charities stop churning money. And uh, I think everyone's forgotten about the floods. Uh, everything seems like it's uh, pretty normal, especially in the city bubble. And it's very important people realise that um, farmers still require fodder right through winter. All the assets that were destroyed, um, all of their fodder, all of their stored stockpiled hay that they that they finally were able to grow after the drought and after the bushfires, um, they lost it all during the during the floods, and um, it's very hard for them to grow uh, sow any seed and grow any more more fodder. And they still need to continue the supply. Uh, we need to continue supplying them with donated hay and fodder right through winter. And this is a charity which I've set up with um, Max Anderson down at Warrnambool in Victoria. Uh, Max Anderson reached out through a mutual friend of mine and uh, to ask me, you know, hey, can you help us get some fodder up to um, to the mid north coast? And um, uh, there's plenty of donated hay, but there's just not enough money uh, to go around to pay for the diesel to get all of that hay up uh, into into the mid north coast. And I just I'm probably um, I'll probably go a little bit too much now talking about Max, but I think it's very important. Max has been uh, running hay, doing hay runs for decades, and Max. Uh, lost his family during the Ash Wednesday fires mm. and he was supported uh, by the community through uh, and, and by charity and this is his way of giving back to the community and I think it's very important we help Max raise the money to um, to get hay up to the mid-north coast to help other dairy farmers. How good is Armin? How good is Max? You can help right now. I need a little bit of cash, yes, and I know there's a million good causes out there. Uh, this one, you can donate tonight, right now, via this GoFundMe page that we're going to whack up on our uh, screen, hopefully straight away. Otherwise, it'll be up on our social media feeds uh, as this conversation is taking place as well. Simply go and search in Sending Hay from Victoria to New South Wales Flood-Affected Farmers, uh, or just put in uh, Hay Farmers and you'll eventually get there. You see that goal? $28,000. Big chunk of change for any one person. But imagine everyone watching right now was able to chip in just that little bit well it fills the uh, the tanks it gets the trucks going put simply tell us right now armin if you get 100 bucks from somebody tonight what does that slowly lead to that'll lead to our first target which uh, look generally it's from from southwestern victoria to the mid north coast just diesel uh, and i just want to just clarify this, there will be no profiteering going on mm -hmm. uh, and Max will be making sure of that. So this will just be covering the costs of the freight, uh, the freight guys, the diesel, um, roughly between four and $6,000 in diesel per truck and 28,000 covers us uh, roughly um, for about five or six trucks, but, but don't quote me on it. Uh, good stuff. It's all in the right direction. All right, obviously, if people want information, it's back to Bush where they can find you, either on Facebook, websites, all the rest. The GoFundMe's there. The link is going to be up right now. So we're going to take a break because I want everyone to jump on their phone, jump on their computer, give as much as you can. And I get it. Everyone's doing it tough. But these people who, uh, who Armin and Max want to take care of, they're doing it particularly tough. So this is our bit. We all sit there and watch the pictures. Now's the bit for action. All the best to you, Armin. Nice to talk to you, mate. Thank you, Paul. Take care. What a good bloke. All right, quick break, back with more, including what is the project that our mate Chris Kenny's been working on where ghosts and Karens will be so happy. More in a sec.